Uh, good afternoon, Los Angeles. Uh, this is uh, David de los Rios. I will now be discussing uh, lesson number 23 on my channel for this afternoon here in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, let's proceed, guys. Uh, we are running smooth on our uh, channel and we are now on lesson number 23. And the topic for lesson number 23 is uh, integration by parts. Uh, I will expedite a little bit. I think my memory is running out. Okay. I will give you the formula for taking the integral by using integration by parts. Okay. The formula, required formula is the integral of u dB equal to ub minus the integral of bd. This is a new topic. So if you are integrating uh, a problem under integration by parts, this should be the required formula. It should be UB minus the integral of BD. Okay. Uh, to follow this uh, or yeah, to follow this uh, formula, choose the value of U and DB. Okay, such that dB and the integral of BDU is integrable, meaning you could find it, okay? If you choose the value of U in dB, dB should be okay, and the integral of BDU should be integrable. If it's not, the, your choice of U and dB was wrong. So make another trial. That's the condition for this one. Okay, uh, let's bring out the derivation. We let y equal to ub. Take the differential of both sides. Differential of y equal to the differential of ub. Differential of y is dy. Differential of the right hand side, product formula. First one times the differential of the second plus the second times the differential of the first. Product formula under differential or differential calculus. Then take the integral of both sides. The integral of dy equal to the integral of u dB plus the integral of bdu. Uh, we are solving for this. Okay. So we place it on the left, and this should be equal to the integral of dy. We transpose this to the left, then we rearrange it on the right. So the integral of dy minus the integral of bdu. The integral of dy is just y, okay, minus the integral of bdu. But what is u? u is ub. So the final formula on how to take the integral of a problem using integration by parts, the integral of u dB is equal to u b minus the integral of bd. That's it. Okay. Uh, just think of the product formula under differentiation, and actually you could derive this one. Okay. Let's bring out. Example number one. I will just give you one example number one for today. The solution is a little bit long. So it's a sequence of integration by parts mixly. It's a mixed solution. Okay, I uh, will expedite a little bit. I, I might run out of uh, memory and I'll begin. I'll fix my camera later on. Uh, example number one, the integral of x squared sine of 2x dx. Okay. As a trial, uh, we will let x squared equal to u, and the complete value sine of 2x dx will be dB. So if u is x squared, du will be 2x dx, right? dB will be the complete value sine of 2x dx. Taking the integral of both sides, b now will be equal to the integral of sine of 2x dx. Okay? Just take the integral of both sides. 
The integral of BB is just B equal to the integral of sine of 2x dx. Okay, uh, we are integrating on this portion, okay? And it seems we are integrating the sine function. So, we verify the value of u inside the sine function. The value of u for this sine function here is uh, 2x. du is 2dx. Uh, it is exact. So, b now will be equal to... Or it is not exact. Not exact. Because uh, we are missing the value 2. Right? So, we will introduce B now will be equal to for this part here. 1 half the integral of sine of 2x to dx. It falls under the sine function. B now will be 1 half. The, the integral of a sine u is negative cosine of u. So, B is actually minus 1 half cosine of 2x. Okay. Rewriting the original problem. Therefore, the integral of x square sine of 2x dx equal to, we are following the formula for integration by parts, ub minus the integral of b du. Substituting the computed values. We know u and db already, okay, and we know b. So, it's just a matter of substitution. So, it should be equal to ub, uh, u is x square, b is minus 1 half uh, cosine of 2x minus the integral. Uh, what is b? Minus 1 half cosine of 2x times du, it is 2x dx. Simplifying. This should be negative 1 half of x squared cosine of 2x. Uh, this is uh, plus the integral of, of x cosine of 2x dx. Right? This is minus minus, so this will be plus, and this two here cancel with this. So what remains for the second expansion is just the integral of of cosine of x to x dx. Uh, for the solution to be systematic, I will put this one as a and this uh, integral to be b. So we don't always rewrite this one. Uh, let's be systematic. We will compute for the value of b because uh, we are now given this as an answer, part of the answer. But this one for the meantime, we must have to integrate it. So we will integrate b separately for it to be systematic and we maximize our board vertically, not horizontally. Okay. B will be equal to the integral of x cosine of 2x dx. Again, it seems it's under the integration by parts. It, is, uh, it looks like the, the integral of u dv equal to u v minus the integral of b dv. Okay, for this b here, we are repeating the process. Uh, we are integrating it by parts. Okay. We will let u equal to x, du will be dx. The complete value of db is cosine of 2x dx. db is cosine of 2x dx. Taking the integral of both sides. The integral of db is just b. The integral of uh, cosine of 2x dx. Oh, it's a cosine function, okay? We know how to integrate a cosine function, right? Uh, for this cosine function, we, we will verify the value of u. It's another u, separate, uh, different from this u here. It's only for this part. The value of u is 2x, du is 2dx, it is not exact. We are missing the value 2. Therefore, v now equal to, we will place one half outside the reciprocal of 2, the integral of cosine of 2x, 2dx, it is now exact. So, v now, the integral of a cosine is sine, so 1 half sine of 2x. Therefore, if we try to continue, continue uh, solving for the value of b, b equal to the integral of x cosine of 2x dx. Integration by parts, right? It is uv minus the integral of b du. So it will be x times 1 half sine of 2x minus the integral of 1 half of sine of 2x times dx. Uh, we now have, we are now this given as a part of the par partial answer. But for the second one, uh, we still again have to integrate it. Okay? Automatic, I place 1 half outside, and the resulting integral is the integral of sine of 2x dx. The integral of sine of 2x dx, uh, it's, it's integrable. 
we will just verify the value of u, the value of uh, the function inside the sine function. u here is 2x, du is 2dx, right? It is not exact. So, we will rewrite this one. This is minus 1 half. Since this is not exact, we will introduce 1 half. Why 1 half? The reciprocal of 2. 1 half, the integral, sine of 2x, 2dx. This is now under the integral of cosine of u du. Or oh, sine, sine rather. It's sine. Right? So, the value of b now, simplifying. 1 half of x is, uh, yeah, 1 half, of, 1 half of x sine of 2x. I am just following this. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, so this is minus 1 4. The integral of sine is negative cosine of 2x plus c. So the final value integral of b is a 1 half of x sine of 2x. Okay, this is minus minus, this is plus 1 4 cosine of 2x plus c. Therefore, the original problem, which is the integral of x squared sine of 2x dx equal to, it's just simply a and b. We are now given a, so we didn't always rewrite b. Okay? Uh, we are wish we, wasting our time if, if we always want. So we represent that as a plus b, and b we compute it separately, and that this is the a value. So the integral of the given original function are uh, just the sum of this. Okay? What is a? Minus one half of x squared cosine of two x. It is this. Okay? And what is b? b is one half of x sine of two x plus one third cosine of two x plus c. This is the final answer. Okay? So as you see, it, the solution is actually the solution is actually a series of integration by parts and some part in the solution are integration of trigonometric function. Right? It's a mix-up. It's uh, a hula balloon, something like that. Right? So, your knowledge of trigonometric, you apply it here while you, you are using uh, integration by parts. Okay? And uh, you should be systematic. If you're not systematic or you're, you maximize your writing horizontally, your solution will not be not so good to look at, right? So maximize your writing vertically, in other words. Uh, I think that's uh, just more than good enough for this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are running smooth. And we are now on the topic integration by parts. I gave you example number one today plus the formula derivation. Tomorrow, I will give you more example problems on the so-called integration by parts. We are running smooth. Uh, so guys, if you like it, please click like. If you want to share it, please click share. And for those who are taking up integral calculus for the first time, please click subscribe. Good afternoon, Los Angeles.